In this tutorial, we will be taking a quick look at the DWSIM open source software user interface and solving a simple mixing problem. To do this, we will open the software, create a new simulation, review the user interface, configure two inlet streams, a mixer, and a single outlet stream. We will also create a master property table to show critical information directly on the flow sheet. Next, we will use the embedded spreadsheet to validate the overall mass and molar balance of the solution. While some of the others solved properties, such as the effect of temperature and volumetric flow, should be validated by your own calculations, as well as compared with other computer-aided process engineering simulators before being confident with your solution. I caution that you do this with all computer-aided engineering software, whether commercial or open source. Let us begin by double-clicking the DWSIM shortcut icon. This will open the DWSIM startup screen. Here, you can see recent files, recent folders, and tasks. In the task section, you have create new simulation, open simulation slash study, view samples, create new compound, create a new data regression study, and view documentation. You will also see the two buttons, donate now and close window. For this tutorial, we will be creating a new simulation. So click the icon next to create a new simulation. Since we will first be giving an overview of the interface, we can simply cancel the simulation configuration wizard which appears. Please allow me time to adjust the application's window to fit the recording viewport. We can always bring back the configure simulation form by clicking the simulation icon in the toolbar that looks like a tiny Lego piece. Like most PC applications, we have options located near the top of the window, such as file, settings, insert, and so forth. The most important of which is the one on the far right, which is titled Help. DWSIM has both a technical manual and user guide available in PDF. Other options and tools can be accessed either by the drop down menu, the quick access toolbars, or the object palette. Process conditions are typically specified in the selected object window. The information window displays messages, errors, and warnings issued by the solver logic and is located by default below the main flow sheeting environment, which has three tabs, material streams, spreadsheet, and flow sheet. To solve our simple mixing problem, we will first need to add components and specify a basis for our flow sheet environment. To do this, we will bring back the simulation configuration form by clicking the icon next to the word simulation in the toolbar. Select the compounds tab and type water into the search bar and then double click water from the list. Next, type ethanol into the search bar and then double click ethanol from the list. Now click the Basis tab, and from the available property packages, click Ping Robinson, and then click Add. DWSIM allows multiple property packages to exist within a single flow sheet, but for this tutorial, we will only be using one, so click the Unit Systems tab, and select the CGS system. You may create your own custom system of units by selecting the application properties, adjusting their units, and clicking the Create New button from the task section at the bottom of the form. For this tutorial, I will be using the CGS system. With our simulation environment configured, we can go ahead 
and close the configuration form. To place a material stream onto our flow sheet, click and drag one from the object palette and place it on the flow sheet. Name the stream Water Inlet and assign it a composition. Other specifications will be made later, and DWSIM will fill needed parameters with default values and solve the stream. In this case, we want a pure water stream, so we will leave the default basis as mole fraction and type 1 into the equilibrium composition table and click Apply, then Close. Our stream is automatically selected and the properties options are displayed in the selected object window. Here, we will specify our inlet conditions. For this case, we will leave the default values for temperature and pressure at 25 C and 1 atmosphere. However, we will change our molar flow rate to 50 moles per second. To do this, click into the property field number 5 named Molar Flow Rate. Type 50 and press Enter. We will do the same for the ethanol stream by dragging another material stream from the object palette onto the flow sheet. Name this stream Ethanol Inlet with the default basis of mole fraction selected. Type 1 into the equilibrium composition table for ethanol and click apply then click close. Now click into the property field number 5 named molar flow rate. Type 50 and press enter. Select both streams by clicking them while holding the control key and align them by using the align centers option in the quick access toolbar. Next, drag another material stream onto the flow sheet. Name it Mixer Out and click the close button. Since we want DW Sim to calculate the properties and composition of this stream, we will not specify any values directly into this stream. Now drag a mixer onto the flow sheet and in the selected object window under the properties tab select the inlet streams for the mixer. DWSIM allows up to six inlet streams per mixer. If more inlets are needed, simply connect multiple mixers in series. For this tutorial, we will only be mixing two streams. Use the drop down menu to the right of the inlet stream one and select Water Inlet. Now select Ethanol Inlet for Inlet Stream 2 and Mixer Out for the Connected to Outlet option located at the bottom of the Connections section. We will be leaving all other options with their default values. Now your simulation is ready to solve. In the Quick Access Toolbar, click Play on the calculator, then click the Recalculate All button. This should solve the mixer. Next, we will create a master property table to display on our flow sheet. To do this, move your mouse to the flow sheet options in the Quick Access Toolbar and click Master Property Table an empty property table will appear on your flow sheet. In the selected object window, under the second option named Objects to Show, use the drop down list to select True for all streams. Now click on an empty area of the flow sheet to deselect the property table. Then click on the property table to reselect it. This should refresh the table with a fourth option to show stream properties. Select true for the stream properties which you want to display. In this case, I will show the stream's temperature, pressure, mass flow, molar flow, and volumetric flow. 
Now we will use the embedded spreadsheet to check the overall mass and molar balance of our simulation. In the flow sheeting environment window, click on the spreadsheet tab. Select a cell by using a single left mouse click. At any time, you may get an error telling you DW Sim generated an unhandled exception. I typically choose to continue. Now hover over the selected cell and right click to bring up options. Select import value from flow sheet. On the select object slash property form under type, make sure material stream is selected. Then select the object. In this case, we want the water inlet material stream. Now select the variable mass flow and click OK. You may want to include a label for this cell. I will call it W-mass to represent the mass flow of water into the mixer. You may also want to assign to it the proper units. Now use another cell to import the mass flow from the ethanol stream. You should also label this cell and assign it units. Now, calculate what the total mass out should be. Since this is a simple mixer with only one outlet, the total mass leaving the mixer should equal the mass entering the mixer. So choose a cell to calculate the sum of both of the entering streams. And enter the correct formula into the value field. Now select a cell to import the calculated mass from DWSIM. Label the cell and compare the two values. They should be the same number or very close. A word of caution, always question and validate simulation results as a simulation may give you a completely or partially wrong solution even though you receive no warnings or errors both inlet streams, I will simply go back to the flow sheet by clicking the flow sheet tab and view the molar flows from the property table. Since I specified that each inlet stream has a molar flow of 50 mls per second, I can easily view the molar flow of the mixer outstream and see that it is 100 mls per second, which is equal to the sum of the molar flows of both inlet streams. Next, we will build a report and print it to PDF along with the process flow diagram we created in our flow sheeting environment. First, we will create a PDF of our process flow diagram. In the flow sheeting environment, with the flow sheet tab selected, right click on an empty space and select print. This will bring up the print preview and in the upper left hand corner click the print icon, select the destination folder and name the file. I will name the file Tutorial 1 PFD. Click Save and then exit the print preview. To build our heat and material balance or process report, you would click on the results menu and select Build Report. In this case, I want to open the simulation configuration form and add a title 
author and description to the simulation. Exit the farm and proceed with building the report by clicking Results and then Build Report. Use the Simulation Report form to select which object and properties you want to include on your report. For this case, in the Available Items section, I will expand the material streams and check off all of the available streams. Next, I will expand the mixers and select the mixer. Then, I will select the properties which I want to display. You can also change the order in which they are displayed. In this case, I want to show the molar composition, the mixture properties, and after that, uncheck the unwanted options and now click the view button. On the report, you can see the title and description right here. And you can also view separate pages of the report. If all is well, Click the small print icon in the upper left hand corner of the window. Select print to PDF. Confirm all pages are selected and click OK. Select the designation folder and name the document. I will name my document Tutorial 1 Report. Now exit the print preview window and the simulation report form. You may choose to save your project at this moment, as this will be the starting point of a future tutorial. This concludes tutorial one. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment and I will do my best to answer it. If this tutorial was helpful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. This being my first tutorial, I'm very curious on how well I did, so please leave a comment. I would greatly appreciate any feedback. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more upcoming tutorials on DWSIM as well as other open source engineering softwares.